Hey there friends, got a gumball reaction for you with the butterfly. Ay ay ay, I'm a little butterfly. What is the? It a really small sandwich? What are they looking at? It looks so real. Oh! Oh! What the heck? We were there. Oh! <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> so wait, can they see the butt too, or are they just freaked out because it's Miss, Miss Simeon, but... Wow. I can't believe they got us all by staring at Banana Joe's butt at the beginning of the episode. It's like, yep, here you go, you just got banana mooned. <laughs> What well, but <laughs> the Wow. But to be honest though, to be honest, I'm sure that butt on her face looks much better than the backside we saw twice. Not once, but twice. Like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, we've been here before. Joseph. to take your skin off. <laughs> Basement, <counselor's> office. <laughs> well, so that's actually really like cool, though. Are you crazy? Wait, what? Hasn't anyone heard of the butterfly effect? Yeah, I mean, I know what the butterfly... Magnet dance move. Oh. That works really well with my dance move. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, girl. What's that move called? The bug spray. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Tobias is getting shot down again. Not once, not twice, not five times, but 20 times, I think. But also, you don't release the butterfly out? What's wrong with that, though? But it's crazy how, you know, Banana Joe takes off his skin a lot. He does it a lot. He is, pre he is pretty much stripping himself naked every time he does that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The butterfly effect is a theory according to which the small oh. fly flapping its wings yeah. a series of events leading to a catastrophe. But isn't that like in the past or something? Like if you do like this. Oh. Whoa. Dang. Oh. But more complicated. Wow. So I love while that was going on, Tobias was trying to do his dance in front of Carmen over there. Carmen's like, ugh. But also, can we get Miss Simeon fired for directly harming a couple of students in the classroom? She did what she did. And I'm sure she's happy about it. Now, I want you all to but yeah, isn't the butterfly the effect like in the past, but not in the present? Nature, the I guess. From its and I'm oh. off the clock and don't have to <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already hatching. But <laughs> no, that's for pregnancy. <laughs> that was the quickest shower I've seen Gumball take yet. That was literally a one second shower, but I'm sure it felt good though. But can you imagine, like, all right, she's off the clock. She goes to the, she goes to Principal Brown's office. You, me, love, now. Oh, ooh, it's rainbow. Oh, that's for pregnancy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, hello? Why does it have a human's face? Who is that guy? How can babies going boom ruin the economy? No, not that kind of baby boomer, Gumball. Not that kind of baby boomer. I can't believe Gumball's got the wrong definition of baby boomers, but it's like they're trying to say something. But also, who is this guy? <laughs> He's free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For free, butterfly! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. From wow. 
these guys are super strong then he literally just gave us some pat in the head i can just imagine it just one pat at least he remembers the house's phone i guess if he called them from china oh there's the butterfly can it really oh <laughs> Oh, you, it's gonna be bad. Oh, jeez, how? Oh, my goodness, these guys. Oh, my goodness, I <laughs> just a flesh wound. Are you kidding me, though? These Lego men are super powerful, though. Oh, wait, is that his son in the, in the... Yeah, that must be his son in the airplane because he's got the bandage on his head. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Bobby. Tell your mother I'm oh. for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Gaylord Robinson. Man, he is such an old person driver. Wow. Is he a baby boomer, by the way? By the way, I'm just curious. Are we, is this like basically the extras part two where we get to see everybody else do their things? Less Gumball and Darwin, but we get everybody else involved. Oh. Oh, that is gross. Not the street water. Yeah. Oh. The oh, Larry, no. What? What? What the heck was that all about? He just did that to be a jerk. What the heck, Robinson? Wow. And I thought his wife was bad. Jeez. I mean, I hope so too, but knowing that this episode is called The Butterfly and what we saw, what happened with those Lego men, I think we're about to see Karma hit him right back on the torch. Oh, the head! Oh! <laughs> oh! His wallet! Oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, Mr. Robinson got what he deserved, I guess, even though it is a car crash. Oh. D girl, that is your son. That was. Oh. Okay, can we talk about how that orange mother is basically one of the worst characters in this show? I get that's her character. And. They're doing a good job at playing it off, but my good, that was her son. She shoved her son out of the way for $20. Oh. <laughs> All for $20, but to be honest, I do the same thing too. I would shove anybody out the way for $20. Hey, Marvin. It's all yours, buddy. If you can get it right. Oh, the bones, the bones, the bones, ah, ah. Oh, this poor guy. But yeah, I rem remember when I said that Miss Simeon could be my least favorite character in the show. I think right now it's a tie between her and that orange mother, basically, you know? After what she did in the law, shoving her son out the way, but then it's like, who could be my least favorite character? I think it's a tie between them, but... Do I really have to choose one of them as my least, least, least favorite? Oh, the bones, the bones, the bones, the bones! <laughs> this is just torture, hearing all these bones cracking. <laughs> Come on, Marvin, grab the subtitle, grab the subtitle. <laughs> he gave it his best shot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> The bones! Ah! <laughs> oh. in the name of the law. Are you kidding me? We don't even we don't even get to see him. What was he doing? What 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 did he do wrong, police officer? Who doesn't do his job that well? What am I being 
fine for. Yeah. Dancing without a license. What do you mean a license? Just help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> At least the 20 is still there, right? Oh. The butterfly effect is happening so much. Wait, did she just eat a bird? Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> Wait, what? I think there's been a misunderstanding. I'm yeah. I'm sure there's a huge age difference. Also, that is a bagel or a donut. I think it's more of a bagel, but man, she really would just take any man for yet for for a proposal, I guess. I've been saving myself all these years for this what? moment. All that time spent alone. But you don't even know him. Oh. Oh. Yo, oh. squirrels and rust. Squirrels and rust. 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 You'll be eating rust. Yes, magic disappearance. What? Rust. Ew. Why would you eat rust though? But I feel sorry for Rocky though. That butterfly effect almost got him a wife. And not the wife he wants, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you make her mad, she would just eat you. She, she just ate that bird like it was nothing. Kid, I'm on the same side of the road oh. as you. I saw you eye Also, you said kid. You said kid. You can tell there's an age gap between you two. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Oh, Rocky. Court. What the heck? What do you mean, court? Oh, it's Larry's fiance. Good morning, Elmer Help Desk. How can I assist you? Oh, um, it it's it's gonna be a sing along thing, isn't it? But who knew that releasing one butterfly in Elmore could cause all this trouble? It's like the butterfly effect doesn't really happen much, but in Elmore, anything is possible, I guess. I've just been abandoned by my brand new fiance. Oh. <laughs> you know, it unlikely, but yeah, because yeah, you just met him, you silly woman. Oh, so she's an alligator. A butt that's five foot wide? Hey, Elmore. Oh, did I say Elmore Marvin? Wow, I just said Elmore right there. I'm sorry, the... The, the, this, this, I'm liking this music number going on right now, but a butt that's five foot wide. So you're telling me that butt is big. I think she's already got someone. No oh. oh, it's going so fast. Oh my goodness. It's going by so quickly, but then you get freaking Mr. Robinson like, I pay your taxes. I can be as rude as I want. I pay your pay. I pay your. I you get the checks from the taxes I pay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, a niche on your head, and you can't scratch it. Oh. Oh no, this is stressful. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh wait, can. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they're all hearing each other right now. Rocky just heard his dad right there, and she's a crocodile, not an alligator. Got to make sure I know the difference. Well, I'm a fish. I should know the difference. But wow, this is real. What she is going through right now is real. Going through customer service like that, it's heck on earth. It is, oh, you go through so many people who just, who need help, but then you, you're only one person. What can you do? Hey, enough already. Oh. You need some manners and you get a life. You need some oh. manners and you need a life. You need a payoff. Now I need a day off. Understandable. Understandable. Wait, was that Larry's car? I thought that was Larry in there. Did his fiance affect him? Was everybody in... What is everybody in line for? 
like why is the mall so busy today that everybody's like in the mall at the same time <laughs> the butterfly effect this episode is nuts oh oh, oh going back down <laughs> oh watch out what <laughs> Yeah. Hector? How? 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 Oh no! Oh. Oh. Oh goodness, that that is kind of disturbing right there, knowing that you are in the nostrils of a giant who fell over. Like, it's like this episode seems very random with all the things going on, but at the same time, it's Elmore. Anything like this is possible. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, the tornado! <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> that rabbit's like, ah! <laughs> Some scattered clouds. Yeah. Oh. That's scattered all right. Wait. Wait, excuse me? Wait, you're telling me a cloud falling in Richard's house made the cloud fall over and now the tornado's actually happening? The weather has been affected. The butterfly, the butterfly. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Priorities, Richard, priorities. Oh, ew, weeder in the nose! Ugh. That is weird, though. Oh, for free, Richard? <laughs> oh, we're back at school. I can't be bothered to take attendance, so if you're not here, please raise your hand now. What do you mean if you're not here? Where's the butterfly? Miss Simmons, you did the only decent thing and set it free. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? I mean, yeah, the kids were were safely at school while every while everybody else in Elmore is going through pretty much the worst day ever because of that butterfly. So Gumball and Darwin have caused a lot of chaos releasing that butterfly with a human face. Yeah, the world. The world, though. Come on, Miss Simeon. Do you really think a little butterfly could... Oh, here he is now. Oh. Coming back to say... Oh, no. If that butterfly is here... How could anyone believe that something so uh, tiny could destroy... That face is so weird, though. Why? Oh! Oh! Wait, that's how the episode ends? You're kidding me. The episode ends right there as it before it hits the school. So, pretty much, Elmore is doomed because of Gumball and Darwin. They did a good thing by setting the butterfly free, but at the same time, they they unleashed chaos upon the town. What a way to end the episode, though. What a way to end the episode. Who just knew that something as simple as a butterfly effect would just cause the end of Elmore right there? But yeah, I, I wanna know, like, is the face on the butterfly like one of the people who worked on the show or something because i want to know i, I want to be in the room where they were like huh what should the butterfly look like it should have this guy's face on it you know what perfect and you get a raise for that it's such a weird character design but at the same time i love it literally a butterfly with a random human face and i thought the butterfly effect is because of the human face but Nope, it's literally just a butterfly flapping its wings, causing all sorts of chaos right there. Where we've seen marriages, customer service complaints, we've seen a mother shove her child out the way for $20. Mr. Robinson being a jerk, more jerkier than usual. And now a tornado. It's insane what happens in Elmore, but this feels like, you know... The extras part two or something like that, where we get to see everybody else's day because of the butterfly. Which was neat. It was really neat seeing that. I really enjoyed this episode, and I hope you did as well. It was really random, but it was really fun as well, and super chaotic. 
If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.